Well, hello there, random viewer. Welcome back. I'm Archie Stormcloud, and thank you for checking out this guide on how to build flagpoles and where to find flags. In this very short guide, we'll cover the variety of flags available currently, as well as where they're most likely to spawn, and the step-by-step -step process of building your flagpole. Constructing the flagpole is by far the most tedious base building process in DayZ, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask away in the comments section. Let's get started. Let's begin by covering flags. Flags can spawn in schools, office buildings, bus and ADA wrecks, but in my experience, they're much more likely to appear inside of these small markets on the shelves and beneath the checkout counter. There are 28 variations of flags available in the current game as seen here. And look, there's even a French flag. How inclusive. Now let's build the flagpole. To build a flagpole, the required materials are three small wooden sticks, one rope, a shovel or pickaxe, 10 wooden logs, a hammer or hatchet, one metal wire, 60 nails, 32 large stones, and a sledgehammer. We begin the process by crafting a flagpole kit. Combine three small wooden sticks with a rope. Once the crafting process is complete, take the kit to your hands and deploy the frame. Attach one wooden log to the frame and using a sledgehammer, build the flagpole base. Next, we'll build the support. This requires us to attach six wooden logs to the base. Next, equip a pickaxe or sledgehammer and find a boulder. Look at the boulder and you will receive the prompt to mine stone. Gather 32 large stones from the boulder. This is a lengthy process. The large stones will gather between your feet as you mine the boulder. Next, attach all 32 large stones to the base and using a shovel or pickaxe, you will be prompted to build support. Lastly, we'll construct the flagpole. Begin by attaching the remaining three wooden logs to the support. Next, attach the metal wire, rope, and 60 nails. Repurpose the rope attached to your flagpole kit for this. Equip a hatchet or hammer to receive the prompt to build flagpole. Now take the desired flag to your hand and attach it to the flagpole. The flag can be raised and lowered from the flagpole's support base. To raise the flag, select the Raise Flag option. To lower the flag, select the Lower Flag option. Flags can only be removed when completely lowered. I like to fly my flag at half-mast in memory of all those DayZ features and mechanics that we lost too soon. Gone, but not forgotten. Your flag will lower automatically over a 45-day period. Survivors must interact with their flagpole by raising the flag for the persistence effects to remain active. Currently, the flagpole, when a flag is raised, will refresh the lifetime of objects within a 60-meter radius every five days, increasing the persistence from the default 45 days to a possible maximum of 90 days without interaction or refreshing. If you found this video useful, and I sincerely hope that you did, please consider giving my channel a sub. You guys have no idea how much you motivate me to continue putting out this content for you. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments section or come by and see us on Twitch. And until then, I'm Archie Stormcloud, and I'll see you in Janaris.